So many things going on in this world I want to hear the good news first Hey, you know. hey this is Yada with Good News First and here's the good news of the week. It's not a, a study has shown that malaria rates in Africa have fallen by about 50% since the year 2000, which means that about 700 million cases of malaria infection have been prevented. <laughs> Another study by the WHO and UNICEF shows that malaria death rates have fallen by about 60% globally and that about 6 million lives were saved thanks to malaria prevention. A kid named Ami Mohammed built a clock by himself and brought it to class to show his peers and his teacher for a science project and his teacher actually had him arrested. Like the words As a response, President Obama actually invited Ahmed to the White House with his clock. Also, people like Mark Zuckerberg, NASA experts and astronauts have invited Ahmed to come and hang out. It would be fantastic to have you. You are the kind of student that we want at places like MIT and Harvard. There's also really good news for whales this week. SeaWorld has actually agreed to no longer accept whales that come from the wild, and the US Navy has made an agreement with environmental groups to no longer use high frequency sonar or underwater explosions that cause harm to underwater animals during their training exercises. A billionaire called Jim Simmons has a foundation that's called Math for America that gives standout New York teachers for math and sciences about $15,000 each on top of their annual salary. For more good news first, subscribe here if you're on YouTube. And if you're not on YouTube, go to Facebook, look up our page, Good News First, and like it.